Hi, I'm Leslie Meredith with Break Bulk Events and Media, and I have Uli from Rickmer's Line in the studio with me, who's just uh, finished a session on carrier risk, regulation, and what was the other one? Market. Ah, oh, in general, yes, absolutely. And one of the things that um, you touched on in the panel are the impending IMO regulations. How is that going to affect the carrier market, and how are you preparing for it? So I think the newer regulations, especially with regards to the low sulfur, um, uh, taking effect 1st of January 2020, will definitely come. Uh, it will have an impact on us carriers, but also on shippers and the industry as such. Uh, um, definitely, it's a massive co cost, extra cost coming our way. So from the carrier's perspective, you either have to bunker different types of fuel, so low sulfur fuel, which will be much more expensive than the heavy fuel oil we have today, or you have to insta install devices on your ships like so-called scrubbers that sort of cleans the exhaust fumes and make it more cleaner before released into the environment. And that is a massive investment That's and cost. That's also uh, expensive, yes. right? So we, of course, will try to pass on that uh, cost to the industry uh, as such and uh, our clients and their clients, of course, because we have to. So the, ma the cost will be uh, quite considerable, uh, but I believe these regulations will take uh, effect. Uh, there will be no further delays. Uh, so uh, we will uh, adhere to these rules and regulations uh, and um, uh, uh, deal with the issues as they come. But that's the two things you can do now is either consider then to bunker different types of fuels uh, or the scrubbers. Uh, on newer tonnage or tonnage being built now, uh, they will also uh, try to make the ship uh, flexible enough to maybe later convert to LNG propulsion. Oh, that's interesting. I hadn't heard about that. Mm. For right. the MPP, maybe less important as for shipping as such, but a lot of the big uh, container ships uh, being built now, they have this kind of device or they, let's say, they, they put it in a way that they could convert it later on. Uh, of course, uh, right now also with LNG is a few uh, issues uh, on bunkering, where can I get this type of fuel and these type of things. Uh, and the cost of course, but uh, that's at least um, uh, some carriers keep, keep that option in case required. So uh, yeah, that's what we have okay. to prepare for and, and that's what we want to promote also to the industry and talk about it because 2020 is around the corner and uh, then uh, it's not coming overnight, so to speak, but it's pretty soon. Exactly. Do you think everyone knows? Do you think the shippers know? I think they sort of know, but it's okay. maybe not directly in their face yet. Uh, same for the carriers or, or, or so forwarders and the likes, uh, is yeah. that um, it's uh, a tough industry right now. They have a lot of issues and 2020 is like not today and it's not next month. So um, sort of it's a little bit further away, but actually it's around the corner. So we have very li limited time to prepare for it. Um, but I think sort of awareness in general is there, but it wouldn't exactly means also in dollars and cents to them or could mean to them or the carriers. I think the awareness is not there so I think you should bring up this topic or we will anyhow bring up this topic at the next conferences a bit more and there should be more talk about it and more awareness. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome.